Hey guys, this is Rahul from CypherTech.com, and in this video, I'll just show you what kind of app we're gonna build in this for this video tutorial series, and we'll just get started. So the app we're gonna do here is would look something like that. So we have our home page here, and then we have another route as about, and then we have a, a text box where you would enter a GitHub username and then this would fetch the list of repositories for this user and on clicking on any of the repositories you'll get the commits so this is what we have built we will be building in the for this tutorial and uh, this has been done using the github apis which i'll come to later so now let's get started so the initial plan that i had for this setup was to use the angular cli to scaffold my app but uh, since uh, there's a new release for Angular 2 com uh, coming up, it's the RC5. It's actually already out there. And Angular CLI is not yet ready to build apps with that because there are quite a few breaking changes in that. So for this tutorial, we'll use the latest build that we have. So to just get started, I've already created a, a repo, GitHub repo. So we can use this to quickly get started. So what you can do is basically you can either download it and extract it from the zip or you can just git clone if you're using git. So I'll git clone it for you. Git clone. So this should clone it into angular youtube demo repo once this is done you have to navigate into the directory and run npm install what this will do is um, install all the dependencies required all the node dependencies required for our app to run all right so once these are installed uh, to run the app you can run npm start but we won't do that right now we'll just have a look uh, at the folder structure before we go check out our app so one thing i need to tell you is that this um, npm install takes quite a while uh, it's not reflected in this video because i went ahead and paused it paused it so open up the files in your text editor favorite text editor i am using microsoft visual Co studio code since it's got uh, you know a really good support for TypeScript and Angular 2, and we are we are uh, building an application in TypeScript. So what we have over here is an app directory. This is a most important directory and where all all of your code will go basically. One file I want to show here is main.ts. What we are doing here is um, we are just importing this platform browser dynamic from this package and then we are finally uh, bootstrapping our root module so every angular app uh, comprises of modules and at least there is one one root module with every app so that's what main.ts does and we won't be changing main.ts further the rest of the things in app for uh, app files are the root component and the root module we'll go to the go to it in our next video then other important folders we have is the node modules this is where all our dependencies goes node node dependencies goes then we have um, package.json this stores a list of dependencies required by our angle 2 app so if you can see we are using 2.0 rc5 we have styles this is the master style sheet then we have the system.js System.js.config.js. So this is basically our module loader. This does all the loading stuff, uh, loading the libraries for us. So that way we don't have to go and include each and every file into our index.html. So what this, what the map signifies over here is, and the key over here is the ls for the path provided over here. Similarly, we have the packages. Packages define what settings we have to use for a particular LS. So here, if you can see, I'm giving the path 
to my main.js remember this is not main.ts it's main.js so whenever you are running your angular 2 app it will first transpile it into js and then it will load the js files into the browser so that way we have to uh, import the main.js and we right now we don't have the transpile hyphen js folder but i'll tell you when it will appear uh, the default extension is js that's what we're doing here that's pretty much about it in this file and you can use go ahead and use different module loaders like webpack as well then we have the ts config.js uh, json these are the configuration for our typescript compiler uh, one change i made here from the standard quick start setup is that i've added an output directory and it's app slash transpiled hyphen js so all our J transpiled js files will be stored in this directory then we have our uh, typings.json uh, this is uh, this basically tells uh, what are the different typings to be installed for our typescript compiler uh, you, um, which is run after the npm install in in the post install setup so if you go to the package and you'll see <coughs> something as post, let me just find it post install so once the node modules are installed it, it will install all the typings for us all right now let's just, just go ahead and run our quick app using npm start so this should start our app on localhost 3000 let me just pull up the browser so if you see here uh, there's a top navigation bar with two links home and about which don't work right now so this is what we have as a quick start app and from our next video we'll start working with modules and components and try to complete our github application thank you